In this particular problem on strings, I am going to show you how you can print the individual characters of a string. So what I mean is, suppose my input is R, A, J, it should print R first, A next and J followed by that. So what I'm doing is I'm defining an array of characters with size 50. You will later on know why I'm using the variable I once we start doing the code. So first what I'm doing is I'm asking the user, okay, enter some name. Okay, I'm asking him to enter some name. So what the user can do is using scanf, I am going to read certain name. Okay, so this is name. Once I read name, in order to print character by character, what I can do is I can use the while loop. All of us are by now aware that the last character in a string happens to be the null character. So I can say as long as name of i is not equal to null, all right, I can keep on printing the individual character of the string. So I'm going to say printf percentage c just a space so that you know that particular character is being printed and you can clearly see it. All right. So this is going to print one character at a time. In order to go to the next character, I am increasing the value of i by one. This particular process will keep on going as long as the value of i or name of i does not equal to null. So let us try to take this particular piece of code, copy this piece of code and then try to run it on the online GDB compiler and let's see what happens. So, okay, so far so good. So it's accepted and it's compiling. So let's enter some name. Again, let us say I enter the name Rahul and Joshi. Since I'm using a scanf, it is only going to read Rahul after the space, the Joshi is not going to be a part of the name. So that you will be proved when I'm printing the name one character at a time. So here you can see, I am printing one character at a time here. I have read Rahul Joshi, but since there is a space in the middle, that space forces a scanf to stop reading after L. Now I am printing one character at a time whatever was the content stored in name, all right? Now let us give it a shot to see if there is a function called getS which tends to work. So instead of this one, if I just say getS name, it should read the complete name including the spaces till I enter the new line. Let us first compile and let us see what it is, okay? getS is deprecated. Okay, it actually there's a reason why you're not supposed to use it. So preferably we better not use getS because generally programmers are told not to use getS because there is reasons that you can get into your code and all. All right, but you can still just try it out so that you can just prove it. Rahul Joshi. Okay. So now you can see Rahul Joshi is printed. Everything is captured. getS will keep reading into name till it encounters the new line character or till you press the enter character on the keyboard. Although good practices say that you have to typically avoid get s. The other way of reading a long string would be you can say percentage scan f percentage c keep reading in a loop till the user enters the new line character.